There's the clear one here, clear one maths. Today we're going to look at a bit of similarity. So, some definitions to start with. First definition I want to look at is congruent. In maths, congruent means shapes have exactly the same angles and sides. In other words, the shapes are exactly the same. So, if you look at this, you've got a, sh a rectangle, it's 2 centimetres by 5 centimetres. And you can see the same thing here. This side's 5, so that must be 5. This side's 2. So that must be two. So these are exactly the same shape and they're obviously all right angles. So we've got the same angles, same angles, same sides, same shape, congruent. Let's look at what we actually want to look at today though. Similar, very similar to congruent. Shapes have the same angles and that means that the sides are in proportion to each other. So look at an example here. Notice I've drawn two triangles. Now, since this angle is the same as that angle, and this angle is the same as that angle, because angles in a triangle add up to 180, these two angles also must be the same. So that means that they are similar. So then we can look at the sides. One's is 6, and the other is 18. 6 times 3 is 18. So the proportion should be the same for the bottom. 10 times 3 is 30. If the sides don't multiply by the same number each time, then they're not similar. We have to do that for them to be similar, okay? And this thing we're times and by to get 6 to 18 is called the scale factor. And we'll use that a lot when we're trying to find missing lengths. So let's go straight into an example to see how this works in practice. So scale factor example. These shapes are similar calculate x your first step is always the same you're going to calculate what's called the scale factor so if we look first of all for two sides which are the same there's one and there's one there the scale factor is just the ratio of the sides now since we are trying to find the big side we start with the big we're looking for an enlargement scale factor so we start with a big side over the small side so the scale factor in this case is 9 over 3 9 divided by 3, which in this case is 3. So that's our scale factor. Then to find x is very easy. We just do x equals our scale factor times our side. So the scale factor was 3. The same side as x on the small shape is 8. So I times them by 8. 3 times 8 is 24 centimetres. Quick check at the end. 3 times 3 is 9, 8 times 3 is 24, so I've done it right. Example 2. These shapes are similar. Calculate x. So this time we're using triangles, but it doesn't matter. So the first thing we do is to check where is our missing side. It's in the small triangle, so I'm looking for, instead of an enlargement scale factor, a reduction scale factor. That just means I do the small side over the big side. So in this case, 3 over 21, which I can simplify to 1 seventh. So our scale factor is a seventh. That means that x equals a seventh times the corresponding side in the big triangle. So 14 is the same as the x. So x times a seventh times 14, or a seventh of 14, is 2 centimetres. Notice with scale factors, so... A reduction scale factor is a seventh, so I'm dividing by seven to go from big to small, and I'm times them by seven to go from small to big. So I'll just quick check, three times seven is 21, two times seven is 14, so I've done it correct. Example three, similar triangles. Now this is a little bit harder to see. We've been drawing one on top of the other, and it's hard to see that these are actually similar. But if we take a cut here, and I copy this one, I'll just paste it aside. If I turn that upside down, we can now see that this angle here is the same as this angle here. This is the same as that one. Our side, 6, is the same as our x. And our 12 is our 2 here. I'll make that more clear. That is 2 centimetres. And this is your x centimetres. So now I can go ahead and do it as I did before. I'm looking for my scale factor now. Now, it's hard to see which triangle is which, but if you look at the sides, 2 and 12, that's the small and that's the big. So, 
We're looking for a reduction scale factor, 2 over 12, which is a sixth. So that means that x must be a sixth of the same side, which is 6 here, which is 1 centimeter. So this x here equals 1 centimeter. Notice with this type of shape, which was something called the ironing board problem, if we notice that this side and this side are in proportion, and this side goes straight through and that side is in proportion, then we can not have to draw the shape out. So we could have just done 2 over 12 times 6, and we'll get the answer straight away. Or if it was going to a big shape, 12 over 2 times that will give you this. Example 4. So we've got this sort of shape, and again, it's hard to see that this is a similar shape, but the clue is these parallel lines. Since they're parallel, and you've got one big triangle, and you'll have one small triangle, which is similar because these angles will all be the same as these angles here. So we can draw that out as two separate triangles. So if I draw our small triangle first, then we would have 7 metres on one side, and six meters on the other side. And then drawing the same triangle but bigger. Now we're just looking at the big side, so it's all the way along, so it's seven and five is 12 meters. And our bottom side is x. And we can then start the question. We're trying to find an enlargement scale factor because we're trying to find the big side. So we just take our 12 over seven. Now I just leave it like that. And now to find x, we do 12 sevenths, 12 over 7, times the same side as x, which is 6. Example 5. Again, very similar. You've got these little arrows telling you've got two similar triangles. So you've got a big triangle. And your little triangle, I would always draw these out at this stage. So drawing a small triangle first, just a sketch. We have got seven meters on the base, and we need another side. Now we don't have another side because we don't really know this side, but what we do know is it is 14 all the way minus x. So we could call that side 14 take away x. And then let's look at our big triangle. We're looking at a big triangle, we've got 12 on the base, and then all the way along with, we've got 14. So we start the same way, don't be put off by this, as long as you could find that that was 14 minus x, you're good, because this x is not part, not a full bit shea side of a triangle. So we start off with a scale factor as normal, so looking at the bottom, We've got a reduction scale factor because we're finding a side in a small shape. So we've got 7 over 12. So that means our missing side, which is called 14 minus x here instead of just x, we now know that 14 minus x equals 7 12, so scale factor, times the same side as it, which is 14. So let's just get a calculator and work out 7 12 times 14. So that's 7 divided by 12 times 14. That's 8.1666 forever. So let's just call that 8.17. We now know 14 minus x equals 8.17. So a little bit of algebra to solve here. 14 minus 8.17 must equal x. So x equals... And we've answered the question. So this bit in here is 5.83. This has been Claire and Maths. I hope you found that useful. A little bit of a recap on how to find missing sides in similar shapes, especially looking on at similar triangles. Stay safe, take care, and goodbye.